Well, since I've made my iron palm whisk, I'm going to make me a little pouch to put it in. And I'm going to use this Crafter Square, Square Felt Roll from the Dollar Tree. Just simply going to do that. So let's take a look at that. So to uh, make sure that it doesn't flail around like this all the time and get these individual ones bent and twisted, I'm going to take a piece of cordage. I'm going to give me a nice size tag and then I'm going to create my favorite slip knot here. There. So I got a good tag. I got my slip knot here. What I'm going to do is place it over here and then tighten that down. And then I'm just going to wrap it just like such. Just so that I can keep it secure. And I can keep them all from bending. I think I got way too much. Anyway, there we go. Okay, well, I came to a conclusion. I asked myself, why use this thin felt with just a little bit of glue on it when it's really not going to hold very well? Let's see if I can... Turning it, yeah. See, it's this isn't going to work very well, and there's no reason for me to do that. So, uh, a little bit of wastefulness of that, but that's okay. I'll suck it up and drive on. What I did do though is I drug out my leather working kit, and I'm going to make. That's not gonna work. So I'm gonna cut a piece out of this nice rawhide. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I will cut, I will place holes into it, and then I'll add these little binders here, these little eyelets to create uh, the ability to hold it together and to give it a look. So let me do all let me get all that cut and then I will get right back with you. So there we go. Nice piece here. And it will do just fine. So we'll go ahead and even this up a bit. doesn't have to be perfect because nothing does have to be. It just has to be workable and practical. That's decent. That'll be the inside. Works just fine, just fine. So that'll roll up just like this. So what I want to do is here. Good. That that works just fine. We're gonna have to put holes in it now. <clears throat> So I'm going to get a ruler out and we will do holes. I'll get right back with you. So it looks like it's yeah, about 22 inches long. Let's see about right here. 
I need a little flap so we're gonna stop about right there so let's let's stop the holes at 19 inches and do I need some so we're simply gonna start here at one and go every inch every inch and there we go now all I need to do is just go ahead and place Oh, punch it, you know. Let's see here. Make the holes a tad bit larger. Right there. Yeah, that'll work. And I'm just going to punch a hole. this complete I'll get back with you so the holes are made on both sides now generally you just I just fold it over and use these uh, eyelets and just clip them in there like that but if I do that it's gonna be uneven it's not gonna look very good and I really don't want to I don't know if I could trim it evenly or I could place it here do it backwards put the eyelets on and then once it's tubed I can run it through itself and turn it inside out so I'm not sure which one is going to work best and that's what sucks and also I'm not sure whether I'm going to use the bigger ones yeah I think I'll do the smaller ones but now I've got three colors to deal with I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do them with the copper I like the copper ones so let's see here now I've got a debate and whether or not I'm going to do it inside out or whether I'm gonna do it right side and then try to trim it to make it look decent. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it right side out and I'll just attempt to trim it because these eyelets are supposed to show and if I do it the other way they may not show so well so we're gonna start at the bottom and what I think I should do is roll that in yeah yeah okay I'm gonna to have to put a, a couple eyelets here so let me put a couple random holes 
One, two, three, four holes there. Let's get those out. That way, I can roll it up on itself and then back so I can put an eyelet here and an eyelet here. And then when I do my other eyelets over here, then it should. Maybe like this would work. Eyelet here, eyelet there. It might slip through there. So see this is what happens. So I can just fold it in on itself and do it here. And then when I eyelet these together, it should create yeah, this one's going to aisle it together. So we'll go ahead and aisle it this one. So it just goes on there, sits on there like this. And I'm going to take this little tool and then crimp it together. Just like that. And let's see. Should do that one more time. Here. Just like that. And then when it folds in on itself, like such, it should create a nice little barrier. Just like that. I got to do it one more time. So let's do this one more time. There we go. One more. together <clears throat> just like that and that will create a barrier and then we can put these others I actually think that I might yeah I think I'm going to use these bigger ones Let's see how the bigger ones work. Those little ones seem to make me a little nervous about them holding. Yeah, see they they pop right out. Yeah, those are popping right out. They didn't really bend well. So we're going to dig those out of there like that. I think I'm going to use these larger ones. 
and we'll see how the larger ones work. So I'm going to go up a couple spaces. Let's go up three spaces. And go ahead and attach just like that. And then we'll tighten that in. Yeah, that works a lot better. So we're going to have to do these. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on this and once I get it close to finished I'll get back with you guys. Okay so it is together. I have the bottom done. I, I did the first three and then I started skipping every other one. This plenty right here. Um, that'll be good. So now all I got to do up here is cut this down the middle here to about right there maybe a little further there we go and then I'm gonna cut this side off like that take all my trash and sit it up on top of that there we go so now I've got the little should have done it the other eh? no that'll be alright so now I have this little flap here that I can just piece over now what I'm going to attempt where is it at here it is I'm gonna try to just uh, do a little bit of uh, this velcro and see if this works I may have to stick a little bit of a glue onto it but I want to see if this will maybe do just fine and if it works decently then I'll go ahead and put a little bit of glue on it so then that's just right like that and then it just velcros on just like that so let's see here is that gonna oh that's sticking yeah that's sticking pretty good we're gonna leave it just like that for now so now all I gotta do is take my iron palm whisk I can sit it down into the bag and there we go so now I have a little bag so my arm palm whisk can sit in here it won't get all bent and wrinkled up and it's safe and secure in here just like so when I want to use it open it up pull it out untie it so that they fling out and then I can just bang now you don't want to necessarily really do like this because this is just a, a solid piece and what we're really looking for and I'll go ahead and unravel it there we go bingo bingo look at that what we're really looking for is is this right here right up against my my bone Do the other side. And any other parts of my body that I want to practice my iron palm or iron body with. So this is a good step. It's something that you need to do every day and consistent. It doesn't have to be hard. It, we're not looking for something just to go wham, wham really hard. This right here is just fine. 
right like this over time that is going to create very very good and strong arms body head whatever you do it to there we go a little bit of iron head <laughs> so anyway there we go my iron palm whisk and now I have a nice little pouch to put it in so thank you guys for watching Zen Shin Self Defense Academy and remember you face me you take a dirt nap